physical perspective only. We look at things in terms of the body and say life, living, child, coming to this world, living. What we don't see is the opportunity to develop the spirit because of those physical experiences. If you turn around that question and come to this realization that the dunya was never meant to be a place to live and enjoy, that dunya is a place of transit, that you are created for akhirah, that your abode is Jannah, that the purpose of this life is only to train and nurture the soul, then none of these questions become meaningful anymore. Why? Because now every physical experience is not meant for a physical reason. Every physical experience is meant to teach something spiritual. It is meant to teach us, for example, to become more patient. It is meant to teach us, for example, to be more content and more radi with Allah. It is meant to teach us to surrender to a higher degree. So that physical experience, that child who was carried for nine months and then miscarried, was not meaningless and purposeless. Its purpose was to teach the mother the meaning of patience and surrender to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It was a test, but it was also a nurturing of the soul. Let's turn this question around another way. A child's physical body forms in its completeness in the womb of its mother. Its fingers are formed in the womb, but it doesn't need the fingers in the womb. Its eyes are formed in the womb, but it doesn't need the eyes in the womb. Its tongue and its stomach and its intestines are formed in the womb, but it doesn't need it in the womb. Its lungs are formed in the womb, but it doesn't need it in those nine months that it lives in the womb. When does it need it? It needs it when it comes out of the mother's womb into this world. Now, supposing this child did not develop fully while it was in the womb of the mother. Supposing this child's fingers were not formed, or supposing this child's lungs were not formed, or supposing, waliyadu billah, this child's eyes were not formed. For the duration that it lives in the womb for nine months, it will not see any problem. It will not cause it any difficulty. It will not cause it any harm because it doesn't need these faculties while it is in the womb. When it comes into this world and realizes that it now has some deficiencies, that it now has some disabilities, that it now has some limitations, then those disabilities, those faculties that failed to form in the womb become a disadvantage when it comes to this world. In that exact same manner, when we are in this world and we fail to develop our souls, when we fail to develop courage, when we fail to develop surrender to Allah, when we fail to develop patience, when we fail to develop generosity, when we fail to develop humility, we don't see the problem with that. We forget that if the womb was nine months, this is not more than 90 years. This is also a womb. In this world, you are a physical body. Your body is the womb and it is pregnant with a soul. Death is nothing but the giving birth of the soul into the real world and the final world. Now, if in this world we fail to complete our souls, if in this world we fail to develop that soul to its perfection, we will not see a problem in these 90 years while we are in this world. We will not see a problem that we are not patient, or we are not courageous, or we have not surrendered to Allah. We will not see a problem that we are addicted to this and that, and that we are driven by our physical desires. Where will we feel this problem and this limitation and this disability? In the next world. When we come to the next world and Allah says, now go into Jannah, we will not be able to enter Jannah because we lack those qualities that are required for one who has to live in Jannah. And therefore, just as the womb is only a temporary place where the main focus is to complete the development of the fetus so that it can live a healthy life in this world, the purpose of this life is not to eat and drink and sleep and enjoy and indulge in distractions and enjoy materialism. The purpose of this life is to let the soul develop to its completion. So anything that teaches the soul and helps it develop is good for the soul, even if at a physical level it appears to be meaningless.